Hey y'all, welcome back. Melanie yes. podcast. Hey, yep. hey, hey. What's today? Saturday? That's our Saturday. first podcast of the new year. Is it really? No. Yes, it is. Oh my God. Was it December 30th? I don't know why I felt like it was after. I guess it was. Yeah. <laughs> it Eesh. was. Time just be timing. I know. I know. Well, well, we recorded the last podcast, like, right, December right. 31st, but we dropped it right we dropped like, it after. That's probably why I was getting confused. I was like, no, very true. But we're back. We're back today. In we are gathered here today to discuss, <laughs> to discuss this bullshit, like. <laughs> to discuss this bullshit. There is a, there's really a lot that's going on. Um, I know when our last was off to a crazy start. <laughs> girl um I, what would you like to talk about first I know how we left off the last podcast but I hadn't caught up to Portia um until after the new year I didn't watch oh lord I forgot about her show yeah we I mean we could just which one should we dive into first the ghetto mess of that show um sure so we could just briefly talk about Portia her show I think is about to wrap up okay the last Two episodes um, were in the headlines because she had a fight, a physical altercation, more so with production. But, you know, it seems like she was trying to fight Dennis and, you know, Dennis's mom and, you know, she was throwing dishes and it was just it was just crazy. Like, I still don't really know what happened for all of that to transpire like that, but um. Portia showed her ass in her family <laughs> showed theirs as well. And, you know, I, I honestly felt very bad for Dennis and his mama because they were the only two outsiders, you know, from Portia's family. And from me looking at the footage, it seems like they were like attacked, you know, or it was a lot of aggression coming every single way for them. So I don't really know what happened there. I just feel like this whole show was a mess. It really probably shouldn't have even happened. <laughs> and <laughs> it doesn't paint Portia in a great yeah, it's not light. A good look. It's yeah. not a good look at the mm-hmm. end of the day. I think coming into it when I was originally watching it, it was like, okay, you know, it's it's funny. I'm glad her family, you know, is kind of holding Portia to the fire in terms of like, I thought it was going to be kind of like, we just agree with Portia. Portia, 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 but they're like, no, it didn't happen that way, you know, whatever. So that was pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, as we're hedging up to the last, to the end of the season or the, you know, to the, yeah, the series, um, it just got really interesting. It got real weird real quick. And I, to your point, I definitely felt bad for Dennis. Now, apparently the alle- there's allegations and stuff with this cousin or whatever I think is it the cut co- is she a cousin or is she a it's Portia's cousin and if you remember last episode I told you there were some rumors that Portia's cousin mm-hmm. in particular this girl had some relations with Dennis she mm-hmm. used to be an employee with it of his right that's so now she's she's claiming that you know he sexually harassed her she is a lesbian and she he sexually harassed her to the point where she you know left apparently she was fired or she got quit she quit and she got rehired and she it was a lot of ruckus for her getting hired and fired at that job the hot dog factory okay so (laughs) no pun intended on the hot dog factory but that's just I mean it's just all so messy to the point where I'm just like Portia, just keep this shit under wraps. Like this is getting know. messier. The more we dig into by the this, minute, it's just getting messier by the minute. And let me just say, Simon was so unfazed. Like he didn't try to protect Portia in this little fight. No, he, he didn't. He just didn't seem to care at all. <laughs> yeah. Red flag, red flag. I'm <laughs> still I'm really saying. like side-eyeing Simon. And I still like for the life of me. Um, I guess how am I trying to say this? I guess I'll just say it. Whatever, I don't care. Um, you know, he—it's no secret—he's on like his, 
like fourth marriage or this will be his fifth something like that I mean once it's after like two like who's counting at this point um and I don't know I just feel like in the beginning I did mention how I felt like Portia just doesn't care about really anything at this point except herself and therefore a lot of her decisions are selfish and no matter what that looks like from the outside looking in or even what it looks like to her and truth be told I you know I personally feel like she even may feel like okay if we get married great if we don't that's great too I got what I wanted out of it anyway um but it's just something about Simon that just doesn't smell right I just don't it's just real it's almost like kind of creepy a little bit at this it point is. um and it just makes me feel it just gives me cringe vibes so I don't know and then I also feel like even after like when I'm listening to Portia's and her interviews and things like that it's just giving um it's just giving even more fake like I think the latest in the headlines was yeah. he tattooed her name on him um and I don't it just is giving more and more and more creep vibes I know it's just, it's just like y'all and it's, it's okay honestly to go away. it's like staged it, it's it's kind of staged energy yes it, this show as much as I love Portia I was a Portia fan okay I still do like Portia she's funny She's cute. She's, you know, youthful. But this show really is She's youthful. <laughs> yeah, she's youthful, you know, even though she's like 40, but she's still like youthful at heart. Yeah. You know? But she gives me this show really exposed how phony Portia can be. And that's a problem because I feel like production for the most part usually has Portia's back. But for some right. reason on this show, production did not have Portia's back and it really showed how kind of phony and fake and staged Portia can be for the cameras right. so like for instance after that fight she told she sent a personal text message to all of the family that was filming with her and told her told them not to mention the fight at filming the next day so they did all these activities all day long and none of her family members mentioned the fight because Portia has sent them a text message telling them not to now little known to Portia I guess she didn't know that Bravo was going to air that out Portia gets in front of the cameras and was like the next day none of my family talks about anything because that's what we do in my family we don't talk about anything it's time for us to get this together I'm like girl you told them not to talk about anything what are you like I don't know if she knew that production was going to like to, like show that part and that everyone was going to snitch on her but she really tried to play it like oh no one mentioned it because that's what my family does we we brush stuff under the table it's like girl you were the brush you told you were me the not brush, to talk girl. about this like I can't with Portia <laughs> I'll be on her team and then I'm just like girl uh, you think we're real. dumb like yeah this is not like this doesn't, again, this does not, to me, paint her in a good light. It like, it's one it thing to just be a part of some, like, trash TV or, like, some shit where you're like, okay, but I don't understand what the goal was after seeing this fight and how cringy that was, like, just how it all just happened and went down. I really now just don't understand what the point of the show was because, in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, this is about Simon. This is about Portia. We're going to, you know, I remember following his ex-wife Fallon um, when she was dating him because I, not because I thought the girl was interesting. I was just like, oh, she's a cute girl. She's married to, or she's married to someone rich. They're, he's old. She's young. Um, she, you know, whatever. This is before she even became a housewife. Like I didn't even know. Um, and they always had their kids. Like they showed his kids, like she would show their his kids her kids and it was like more of a family like and I was like god they have a lot of kids like surely those aren't all her kids which I knew that but it just it was like more intriguing like oh I wonder if like how many are her kids do they have kids together like it was more of a family like between them two this show is truly the Portia and her family and then Simon is just there because it doesn't, it doesn't really 
focus to me I don't know maybe you disagree on her and Simon at all it's more of a dentist I'm sure that done family yeah it's more Dennis it's her family Portia and I mean it's at this point why is Simon even involved at this point it's like well, he's and to me he's 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 in an embarrassed like I'm bragging on Portia saying this isn't a good life for her but it doesn't it makes Simon kind of look like a chump too because I'm like you know a lot of the stuff that she's doing is obvious that she still has feelings for Dennis and some of it is just really embarrassing to your fiance and even Simon has made comments like you know why don't you allow him to you know you can't be like that like most men or I would think some, there are some men that was like what the fuck no what you had a problem with him bringing it you got feelings for him or something like it's just like no Portia you really should be okay <laughs> I'm like what I'm he like what is like he doesn't give a damn that man is for the clout for the the feet the views he it's just it's, it. just it's just like totally different than what I thought like originally I was enjoying it and I still enjoy it because it's you know it's reality tv so you get that a little bit of like that fakeness and stuff whatever whatever it's mm-hmm. entertainment I guess is the word I'm trying to use but girl that man was trying to get chose he probably had Fallon tell them Bravo producers like insisting them like get the ladies over to the house tell them they could film at the house like he I feel like all this shit was calculated okay he was trying to get in that spotlight any way he fucking could and he knew what he was doing everybody knew what they was doing yes everybody knew what they was doing well (laughs) to be continued on Portia I don't see where it can go up from here um other than just the you know maybe more do you, do you think there'll be a second season or do you think she's just gonna hop back into Atlanta um I girl I don't even see apparently this is the season finale and it's only been six episodes so I don't think I don't think there's another season I think this gotcha. was like a limited series catch it while it's hot girl it was a hot mess is what it was so. Anyway, 